Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, so we just strung one of my blackouts, XTD 27 and a halfs, with the Gamma X stringer. I got my stringer partner here, my stringer wingman, my string man, and uh, we're going to test it out. Day two. Practice anytime, day or night, 24 7, 365 with Fast Track Tennis. Get your Fast Track Tennis today and get 10% off with Tennis Spin. Link is below and get your tennis on the Fast Track. All right, so with the help of my string man, Coach Rob here, we both managed to string this racket at a whopping how tight? What it was set at or what it turned out as? <laughs> what it turned out to be. 44. 44. We set it at 55, and we tried our darndest to maintain and keep tension. But unfortunately, the ERT 300 Swiss made said 44 pounds twice. So... I trust that thing and I'm sure it's 44 pounds. We're gonna now take it out and try it because you said, what? Well, I thought when we took it off and I hit it with my hand that it played, it sounded a little tight. Okay. okay. Clearly, okay. I was wrong. All right. Well, no, you said, you said 55. Let's see, let's see. We gotta go hit the court first though, okay? All right, so we just got off the court with the racket that I strung on the X stringer from we. Gan Oh yeah, we, we. Sorry, Goose, we. Thanks, Bob. Uh, <laughs> that we just strung on the X stringer. This um, would be the Blackout 300. XTD. XTD. Yes. So um, I set it at 55, I did my we did our darndest best to keep the tension maintenance at 55. It came out at 44. Right. I thought it was tight when we took it off and I hit it against my hand, even though I knew it was probably going to be loose, but it felt just hitting it with my hand. And then when we played with it, mm -hmm. it was definitely not tight. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so your first shot went sailing. <laughs> Woo! My I heard shot, it. <laughs> I think my shot wasn't even close to landing in. So, yeah, like my first shot, I heard it before it left and it went, Wong! Like, went oh, okay. So, yeah, it is on the looser side. Um, it, so I guess we have to calculate about 10 pound difference then, right? 55, 44, it's 11 mm -hmm. pounds difference. So a lot of people have actually told me, if you're gonna do 55, do 65. Or if you want a tight 55, do 70 pounds. I mean, I did everything I could to keep that at 55. You were very patient. The way I know it, the right. way I know it. And um, you probably do have to um, jack it up. Like I, I literally wanted to crank that arm down and just give it more and more and more. But me too. I, <laughs> but I wanted to be more meticulous and let the instructions kind of get you know take me in and make sure. I mean, this is one of the few times I wanted to actually follow the instruction book and then see what would happen. And as you guys saw, what happened? We lost ten pounds. Okay, 
I know that you guys are more, some of you guys are more experienced at using the Xstringer. Please give me your tips. I only worked with what was given to me in terms of the tool. And for what you, most people need, that's all you need. But if you want to get better at um, the tension maintenance and, you know, maybe doing a true 55, uh, probably going to need a couple things like a starting clamp and um, maybe a couple starting clamps to, uh, to get it done. But I just think that using floating clamps, um, you're going to lose at least 10%, uh, just from my own experience. Um, I think also this is the first time doing it, at least for me, mm -hmm. I know, and I think it was more or less the first time for you. So I, you know, yeah. how much of it is our uh, rookiness? Uh, <laughs> no, I think... You know, I mean, you were a bit very patient. I yeah. was a little more like, let's do yeah. this along, but... Um, no, I've, I've worked on that before. I've used them in the past uh, in many instances, but it, I haven't touched one in 10 years. Mm. But so I do it, did it off of my memory plus, you know, going over the instruction book again and trying to be as meticulous as I could. Okay, so my rookiness. No, 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 you did a great <laughs> job. You, I, I, you did the, the part where it was the crosses. So, and, and, and you know, I had my great 10 pounds tighter on the knots. Yeah. So we, or, like I said, we try to keep tension as well as right. we could. You yeah. came up with the 10 pounds. I just suggested <laughs> maybe we should go up on the knots. Then, but I think the true answer is going, up 10 pounds for the whole thing right. right so but yeah now we know how it plays okay a, a, a 55 on the machine kind of turns out to about 44 so just expect about 10 percent loss in tension all right so you want to string another racket coach rob no <laughs> <laughs> i know it ain't fun i was telling them before you got here it would the fastest i ever done one on that thing is about 50 minutes just because you got to be pretty patient with it. Right. But now I know, though. Well, we I, definitely killed more than 50. We crank. <laughs> we crank. We got to crank, I think, for the tension. Because I think we lose a good amount of tension um, just stringing it. Okay? The floating clamps and uh, the, the, way, the way it is. But, I mean, it, for what it is, it's totally doable and workable. Um, right. As long as you understand, just change the the poundage to, mm -hmm. where, to where it is you think it works best for you right uh, with the machine yeah that's great yeah for home stringers that do maybe one a month two a month three a month i mean like if you don't do volume i mean the price is right because it's like the price of maybe six to eight string jobs all right and then you can keep going and buying those sapphires or the Gamma synthetic guts for a nice price. Labor's on you. Pfft. String your friends. <laughs> All right, Coach Rob, thank you so much for uh, being my my string man today. String man, sure. <laughs> no problem. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.